Oh, uh, Ren Viper. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there was the one that, that Kai, Kai made the comeback and Brad was in it and Paul Rietzel won. Like, that entire topic was like, uh, Figure of Destiny, Maelstrom Pulse. <laughs> okay, every single card was, was a top deck veteran. Anyway, so we have yeah. Eric's deck. Eric is playing um, like a rug rug style uh, it, Snapcaster Mage deck. I, I don't have the exact list in front of me, but it looks very similar. No, 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 not this list, but I mean, it looks very similar to JVL's list that he posted his article on uh, Star City this week. So Eric leads off with a Sulphur Falls and an island, and Ali uh, just matches with a Drowned Catacomb and a Glacial Fortress. So all land go down. So Ooh, Eric... think twice. So the, he has uh, three think twice in his deck. Ali has four think twice. So he has think twice advantage. He'll be thinking more often. Yeah, more than twice. And Visions of Beyond from Ali at the end of Eric's He probably needs turn. to draw land because he, the, that card is much more powerful than uh, just a cantrip. Yeah. But I think... This land's coming to play tapped. Yeah, so far. all of Every land that Ali's played is coming to play tapped. Maybe he didn't play read Flores Friday two weeks ago. Oh, yeah. Got to play a lot of lands to come into play untapped. But in this case, he, he's looking okay. Both players really just playing cantrips at this point, trying to hit their land drops. Um, the thing about Visions of Beyond... It's it's fine to play it early in a deck that's gonna abuse Snapcaster Mage. You, you just do it later. You, you know, you rebuy it with Snapcaster when there are twenty cards. So um, Eric went first, so is, I don't think he's gonna have to discard on that thing twice. However, Ali missed his fourth land drop, which is kind of a pain. I think he's probably gonna play a Snapcaster Mage and then rebuy the Visions. No. Oh no. no forbidden Alchemy. Forbidden Alchemy. And a Mana Leak from Eric. It's fine. It's fine on both sides, you know? Yeah. Like, Seems like a reasonable trade. Nobody's dead, right? Yeah. I mean, I'm sure Ollie would have very much liked to look at the next 100 or so cards, which is what that card does. <laughs> roughly 100 cards. Look at the top 100 cards of your deck. The other thing that's great about that play, though, is that um, you'll notice he didn't hit his land drop again. He would have had, probably had to discard anyway, and so he was able to get rid of a mono leak on the part of his opponent. Right. So I, 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 just, I think that, that play was just good all around. I, I think Ollie probably would have liked to have resolved it, but you know, the way it turned out wasn't too bad. Eric, in the meantime, cast another Think Twice. So we're going to go Snapcaster Mage this him. time for Visions, if yeah. he's going to let him. Which which one's Geist Flame? Uh, it's the, uh, it costs one red to do one damage, and the flashback is, is, four. Uh, is four. Yeah, it's a and red and three. So incinerate is two damage. I'm sorry, three damage can't regenerate for two mana. For, yeah. for two mana yeah. Exactly. So Eric actually also has Best Within. I think he should, yep, I was going to say, I think he should Best Within a land. <laughs> best Within? Yeah. <laughs> Ollie's like, yeah. Bear. Does he have a, let's see, he has Slag Storm, so Slag, he's going to have Slag Storm's definitely good alongside enough mana to cast Slag Storm to kill both of those creatures next turn if he has it, as well as to pay for a Mono Leak if, in fact, our reigning U.S. National Champion has a Mono Leak. So... Well, Ali yeah. rebuys the, uh, the Visions of Beyond draws, and now he's going into the red zone for five. First damage of the game coming from a... Geist? Oh, okay, so there's a Geist Flame. One, uh, it's an instant for a red, does one damage, and has flashback for a red and three. New, I mean, uh, new standout from... I don't, I don't, I don't know if you that card. I, I like it. I mean, it's, it's, you know, I mean, it's... Got flashback. I already am automatically kind of like it just because of that. But there's the All, every single right? card has flashback in a properly built deck. That's true. <laughs> <There's>, <laughs> they all have flashback. What's the problem? Fair point. But <laughs> yeah, we we did see it last week actually in some of the uh, the mono red lists that were uh, that did did well, including the uh, the winners list, I believe. David Duburn was the the winner last week in a mono oh, something red hefty. Mirror what is match, it? So. Is that Garuk? Yeah. That's, the that's baby Garuk now. Right? Baby, yeah, it's baby Garuk. It's the only legal baby Garuk. Come on, Ollie, no Monolik here. Oh, gives him a a die. A die. And he also has no Monolik. Will be big trouble. So Eric seems to have all the answers. He dice flamed the Snapcaster and incinerated the Beast. Best. The best. And uh, ooh, he makes a wolf. What do you say when somebody makes a wolf? There's going to be a new rule this week. Do we have to howl? You, you have to I howl. I have yeah. to howl? <laughs> Say it. We're like, ow. Ow. All right, there's a wolf. <laughs> do we have to do that when they transform, too? <laughs> we'll figure out something different when they transform. 
<laughs> maybe, <laughs> maybe. It actually, it, it's thematically accurate, I think. To the best of my knowledge. I think we need to howl when they transform, not just when Garrick makes a wolf. I mean, because there's, there's Seconded. Been... Okay. Seconded. All right, what do we got? Ooh, Forbidden Alchemy. Oh, this is going to manually... Pack it in. No more. No more. No moss, Ali. No moss. See, I, I don't know. Yeah, it's... I, I, if Ollie ends up winning, I'll, I'll eat my words. But this is the kind of game I think I would pack because my deck takes a million years to win. Mm -hmm. And even if I win game two, if I take a million years, I'm not going to have time to win the match if I don't pack right now. Yeah, that's a good point. I mean, right now, Eric has more than twice as many lands right now. Ollie is so far He has behind. an active Planeswalker, eight power in play. Like, is it... I don't know. And just four power in play. Right. Did I say eight power yeah. in play? Yes, yeah, four power in play. So flashback on the think twice. <laughs> He's thinking very often. I think we're going to see a lot of that. <laughs> Raining for four. Do you think Ollie has his uh, White Sun Zenith yet? See, how, what's the yeah. what's the cost then? Is it white, white, white? I believe so. Let's let's double check it. Just, oh, just looking sure. things up is against the rules and against the, your rules. I look stuff up so I can be accurate. <laughs> what do you, you think is more important, being quote accurate end quote or doing this? Oh, which, when another which, wolf hits the, the which table. Which is you're right. It is white, white, white. And I X see. You don't need to look it up. You just know what it is. Like I don't know the name of that dual land, but I would say. <laughs> A blue red dual land or a green red dual land, and everyone would know what I what I mean. Well, there's a timely reinforcement from Ali, who is uh, in oh, it's desperate so... need of some reinforcements right now. It's just so not powerful. It's not very timely <laughs> either, really. I mean, it's like just going to prolong. Gonna be like, oh, sure. It's really like, going to prolong. This is actually game. working against him again. Look, putting him back to twenty is bad. <laughs> you just hurry up and lose. There's a real easy way to do that. I, 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 do you agree with me? Seriously, what's what? How many how many minutes do we have on the round here? Fifty minutes? Yeah. Well, fifty minute round. So yeah, I mean, they're okay. probably ten minutes have, in now. Should have conceded. I'm so completely there's a, serious. A flashback dice flame on one of the. Uh, I am. Oh, that was a horrible mistake. I'll tell you why. Should attack first. Opponent only has one mana open, right? Ali might double block, right? If he mm -hmm. double blocks to get rid of a wolf, mm -hmm. then he can nug then, that, yeah. and then he basically gains. A significant advantage. Right. Now, Ollie might not double block, but let's be honest, he traded a flashback whatever for, you know, basically no advantage at all. He's just irrelevant. Right? So, uh, not, yeah, it makes sense. It's just, it just looks bad for Ollie. I'm trying to figure yeah, out like, you know, what he could possibly be playing for. So he's going to lose point, anyway. He's lost, uh, he's lost another soldier token and another wolf has come into play oh, from Garrick. Oh, and Garruk flipped. Garrick also flipped, oh! yeah, because that Garrick actually killed a soldier. <laughs> yeah. But he's not a werewolf, so you don't have to howl. Garrick is just uh, Maybe just I just cursed. like howling. Well, that, yeah, that's fair. <laughs> just do it. It feels fun. <laughs> it is fun, but I want to do it when it's thematically, what it's, oh, it's thematically, thematically accurate. accurate. You're right. <laughs> you should respect Dr. Garfield's wishes here. <laughs> So, uh, the soldier comes in and fights Garrick for a second. <laughs> so sad. <laughs> He's like, the one little soldier creeping up towards the castle. He's like, kicked him in like, the shin. <laughs> He's like, eh, I've got a wooden pike for you. I'll bite your legs off. <laughs> so sad, little soldier. Oh, let's see. Come on, Ollie. What do we got here? All right. A so lot of indecision, apparently. Maybe he's got the Wrath of God, right? A wrath. That's what I'm guessing. Why would he go in with that soldier? Oh, man. I, mean, I, I would be so happy with myself if, in fact, Ali came back to win this game, and I would like be like, you know what? I'm happy I suggested he conceded, and I'm even happier that he didn't concede. You know? Yeah. I thought it was a good suggestion, but, you know, Sometimes he might come back. Sometimes it's fun to eat your words, right? Like, like yeah, like, it'd be cool. So rebuy, forbidden out. Uh oh. It, what, yeah, I think get, he rebought the uh, the timely reinforcements. Yeah, and that actually rebought nothing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh. He tried to rebuy timely reinforcements. So what does the flipped Garuk do? Uh, he makes wolves, right? He makes death touch wolves. Yeah. So his wolves are even better than the original wolves. They're they're one ones though. Oh, they're one one. So wolves? they're. Yeah, they they lose a power but they gain death touch. So. Just to uh, Garrick the Veil cursed is his flip side. He uh, his plus one is put a uh, one one black wolf creature token with death touch. So those on the are worse at killing people, though. Right. 
a better, better killing, killing yeah. Big warm dudes. coil engine tokens. Yeah. Or, and then uh, minus one. Minus one is kind of like a uh, survival of the fittest -ish kind of thing where you can sacrifice a creature and then search your library for a creature, uh, put it into your hand. Like and any creature at all? Yeah. So he could just get Thrun? Yeah, he could sack one of those, like that Death Touch Wolf, and then search for whatever he wanted. Well, not this turn if he made a Death Touch Wolf. Right, he couldn't do it in the same... And then minus three is what? Uh, the minus like, oh, three is kind of, kind of an overrunny kind of thing, where he's uh, kind of like the original Garrick. Had the over on this one is creatures uh, creatures you control gain trample and get plus X plus X where X is the number of creature cards in your graveyard, so it's similar to the original Garrick's Overrun or at least it uh, kind of references it. So let's see what's he gonna do? Smash into Garrick? Can he kill Garrick? What's the loyalty on Garrick right now? Two? Uh, I think so. Yeah, because he plus yeah, plus one. It's gonna be rough so, I mean, to rough to get that down. He's he's not gonna be able to kill Garrick. Without some something else other than what Help. he's got on board right now, yeah. Oh, I think he might have a dismember. <laughs> do I dismember a wolf token? <laughs> yep, we do. <laughs> for, for, Die. For that, that, this so that one's like. <laughs> <laughs> it's like whimpering. <laughs> he's got dismembered. Okay, so now they both go into. To get... yeah, see, look at this play, right? So, if the soldier just gets in, right, something happens to Snappy, then um. You know, it doesn't even kill Garrett, so maybe he's going to leave back the soldier to defend himself. Mm -hmm. I, I think I like that one. Like, you know, there might be a Geist Flame in his future. Oh, Best Within. Best oh. Within. Uh, rough, rough day here. Yeah. It, it's, Ali's resigned himself to killing the, the other Planeswalker instead of the one across from him. He figures he'll just, just if I can just beat Garrick, I'll be satisfied. And, but he can't even seem to do that, unfortunately. All right, so Garuk is dead, Snappy's alive, and uh, so he's got eight life. There are six power in Impending Wolves next turn, but he has a 1-1 one -one to block with. He's probably going to block, I would guess. So, yeah, Chumpy, take four, down to four in all likelihood. What's his opponent going to do here? He's got, like, Anything four cards. Anything he wants, right? <laughs> it seems like a... Uh... So he passes. He's got a lot of pressure, and I mean, I mean he's got six power always on four, right? Yeah. So always. So what do you think about playing this day of judgment pre? Like I would, I think I would probably would have attacked. Yeah. I mean, why not? Um, I mean. The one Snapcaster Mage is enough to defend him from lethal. Yeah. So I think I would have tried to get the damage in. That's just what I would have done. Yeah, I don't, right. Don't I, know if it's right. I don't, didn't see any reason why not to attack. That's what I mean. Like, why not just do it and... Which, uh, is which that, part uh, is that? Mayor of Averbrook. That's the, uh, the green and one for a one-one human. Other humans you control get plus one, plus one. And then uh, he, he flips... And when he flips, uh, I'm going to get it up just so I, again, want to be accurate. Uh, yeah, other humans get plus one, plus one, at the, and he's a human advisor werewolf. So he's playing double double mayor. So is that lethal right now? Uh, they're both so each one plus gives other humans plus one, so each one is a 2-2? Two, two? That's true, yeah. So that's lethal. Okay, so right. Ali has played Think Twice. He needs maybe thought himself into a snap by Day of Judgment. That's basically his best... Well, he, he, he actually has to make a play here because otherwise they're going to flip. Yeah, so he's right. reading it, right? Right, but even if he makes, even if he plays a spell, they're lethal, unless he plays a spell that deals with one of them. Well, you know it what depends I mean? what spell. That's what I mean. I, I, I'm, I'm dealing with one of them. That's what I mean. Like, he, he has to play ring and then there's a 1-1 one, one in play. Right, that's okay. dealing with one of them. That's what I mean. <laughs> unless he plays a spell that actually like. deals with one of them. Uh, they don't. What I'm saying is they don't necessarily need to flip to kill him. All right, so... It, my guess is, so see, these are flipping? Yeah, it looks like they're flipping. So I think on upkeep, maybe he, does he have a White Sun Zenith? He must have something. So what are they on the other side? Can you flip it, please? Oh, yeah. It's a 3-3. Three, three. Uh, and that is a tribute to hunger. Okay, so he was he was waiting for the... Um, waiting for them to flip so he could gain more life. Tribute to hunger is uh, target player sacrifices a creature. You gain life equal to its toughness, I believe. I actually, I don't like that play at all. Toughness, yeah. I would have rather just cast a cast a spell. Like, so he's going to gain a little more. First of all, the tribute to hunger was countered. Is that correct? Uh, 
and then he Doombladed one. Like, he could have just done a spell on his own turn, prevented it, and then he would have had more life right now. And then he could have just chained it to another play. I didn't see what, uh... It's a mono a big... flurry. Yeah, well, he, get, Eric tried to play something, and Ali mono leaked it, but, um... Now that Werewolf should flip, because two spell Ollie played two spells, or actually he played two three. spells were spell were cast. Yeah, well, no, it's it's a player, a single player, oh, has a single to cast player, has two spells, can, but Ollie cast three. Um, he, if a player casts two or more spells last turn, so that's why it should flip. Yeah, it's these triggers with the werewolves are so. Uh, it's like you need to pay attention every upkeep to try to remember how that works. But he did get a wolf at the end of turn. Do you see, I really think it would have been way better to just kill one of those wolves on his own turn. He, right. he would not have, have had flipped. to deal with all this garbage. Yeah. He was trying to, he was getting greedy trying to gain the life. So, now Day of Judgment from yeah, Ollie. Yeah, and then Eric's going to play uh, uh, Does Eric still have a Geist playing he in his graveyard? He has a Sphinx I think he flashed back the he, one He flashed it back. Yeah. Oh, but, oh he's, yeah. he's got yeah. Snapcaster Incinerate, yeah. So, like you said. 15 minutes ago, he could have conceded. Right. But, I mean, he did all start kind of clawing his way back really? in. Really? You think? Well, Eric had a Consecrated Sphinx in his hand. Hey, I didn't see that until just now. Yeah. <laughs> like, this it game was, was, it was pretty decided. It, like... So what do you think about the Burn Suite in Eric's deck? All right, so you know what card I like? You like a, a card that does not appear here in this list. Yeah, despite the fact that he actually has dedicated yeah. color there. You want the water? Yeah, that'd be great. Thank uh, you, Joey. All right. So looking at uh, looking at an Eric stack first, um, as I said, he's playing like a rug list, similar, I think, to JVL's list that was posted uh, earlier this week. Um, he's got four Snapcasters, two Thrums, two Consecrated Sphinx, four Mayor of Averbrook. How does um, it, where did JVL post this list? On Star City. He he wrote an article about rug control on Star City. Oh really? Yep. I must um, have missed it. I'm gonna. I'm actually gonna bring it up so I can compare the lists really quick. Um, there we go. Real, when, did that, uh, when did that article come out? Uh, Wednesday. Yeah, I just missed it. Um, I have to log in. Here, I, I have. I have a membership to Star City Games Premium. So anyway, um, the the burn spell that you like and you wrote about it in your article on Friday is Brimstone Volley. Yeah. And it's not here. In uh, in Eric's list, but it seems like it would be. I, I convinced pretty good. I convinced Drew Levin to completely redo his mana base. Yes, and <laughs> cram four in right before the tournament started. Yeah, I'm I'm actually really excited to see how Drew does. I'd like to actually watch him. Uh, I'd like to get him under a feature match so we can we can see that list. But we'll we'll get to that later. So, looking at the sideboards, uh, Eric's got three Daybreak Ranger, three Memories Journey. That's not going to come in, is it? I don't you, think you bring so. in a card that just counters the flashback on a thing. Actually, it's a kind of a good response to Snapcaster. The Snapcaster made. Mm -hmm. um, All right, so I've 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 uh, JVL's you have it list. Okay, it's good. actually this does not look anything like JVL's list. Okay. Oh, oh wait, sorry. There's a second list in this. List. Oh yes, this one, however, looks very much. Okay, like there it. we go. <laughs> so JVL four Snapcaster made, same as in Eric's deck. Main deck Ancient Grudge, which Eric does not have any Ancient Grudge in his main deck. Um, best within times three. three that's Similar, Desperate Ravings. That's a, is that the card That's I like? the one we were talking about. Yeah, the, so, the other Think Twice. Yeah, I, I think that card is very good. Me too. Um, three Geist Flame. Uh, Eric has only two. One Incinerate. Eric has two. Four Monolith, four Think Twice. So Eric has only three Think Twice. Um, let's see. So Thrun the Last Troll. Eric has two. But Eric has Consecrated Sphinx and Mayor of Aberbrook. Mm -hmm. So that's like a, a significant departure from JBS. Yeah, list. I, I couldn't. You know, I've been reading a lot about several different rug lists uh, recently, so I couldn't specifically remember. But I know that the idea of playing, you know, the, you know, the kind of rug control thing is uh, is out there, and I liked I liked the looks of uh, of JBL's list. Definitely check that article out. That's apparently, under the apparently Michael Paz game played a similar deck last last week. Maybe. I'll have to check that out. I didn't see that. Um, so, re looking at the sideboard again, Daybreak Ranger doesn't seem like it would come in. I mean, I don't know. Werewolves. I don't know. Are they good against control? They I mean, are. He's really they like are, a gray like, ogre, right? Yeah. Is it? I mean, I guess if he just wants the four four, but I, it feels to me like I, if he could see Ollie's deck, there's like a ton of instants to keep it from flipping. And the only creature to to kill is Snapcaster Mage. It seems bad, 
but I don't know what he knows or what he thinks Ollie is playing. He probably thinks Ollie's playing like a Solar Flares deck and just didn't draw, you know, the Lilianas or the uh, the Unburial Rites or the Sun Titans. Like, I mean, that's what it looked like. Well, they are into game two. Ali leads with a, a Drowned Catacomb and Eric with a Sulphur Falls. Both players uh, just draw land to go, just like the beginning of last game. But Ali has added a uh, Plains and Eric with a Copperline Gorge. So think twice from Eric at the end of Ali's third turn after he plays a uh, Glacial Fortress. So. Eric plays an Island and passes. Ali will hit his fourth land drop this game, a uh, tapped Sea Chrome Coast. And Eric will flash back, think twice at the end of Ali's turn. There's uh, Eric's fourth land, which do you think, is that a Hinterland Harbor? Do you think Eric's deck just has like a natural advantage against Ali's deck? Um, I mean... Did he think twice and then have to discard Copperline Gorge? I think he did. Do you think he maybe didn't think twice before making that play? <laughs> That's a possibility. I know, like, sometimes, you know, you're just like, he was going to hit his next think twice. Because he's going to hit his next land drop. Right. He's in, I mean, this he's one is think, like, thinking again. Think twicing for the I third time. I think I would have thought twice before thinking twice. <laughs> That's. Uh, so. I'm sorry, I, I was asking you a question and then I yeah, butted it in. Yeah, that's all good. No, I, I guess I'm not sure. Like, it, it looks to me like Eric's list has an advantage. I feel like I, I'd like to see Ollie's list. Is this divination? Yeah, one divination. <laughs> I mean, it seems it's build a mole drifter, right, with Snapcaster Mage. <laughs> the first divination is like the evoke mole drifter, and then you Isn't it the then fourth you play. think twice just better? Well, <laughs> yeah, I like think twice better, but that's the that's the the idea here I think I, I don't pref I don't really like divination build a mold drifter the good yeah, thing right. about mold drifter was you quote built the mold drifter with like a makeshift man <laughs> and it was one card I mean there's no there's no threat in playing Eric's side so I think Ollie's in a way better way better spot this game yeah at this point they're matching land drop for land drop Eric I, I think Eric really should have not thought twice before what is was he he's un gonna end up being able to do is run out some dude with enough mana to pay for mana leak it's annoying for Ali to, to play around. And then, you know, he could have bought back that thing twice later. So there's I, I don't Garak. like that play at all, actually. He only has two mana. Like, he can't... He can't he's, he's just going to mana leak it. He's right. like, all right, leak back, pay. Like, oh, negate. Oh. No, oh, that'll work. That'll work. Agreed. I didn't even see the negate in his hand. Same. I saw the mana leak. So, Ali, so, now... Oh, well, so uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna dissipate that. Dissipate uh, the Garrick. Oh no, that's better. That's better, right? Because then he can't rebuy the. He can't rebuy the negate. Negate, yeah. yeah, exactly. Very good play from our U.S. national champion. Now look at the spot we're in, right? So Eric has burned two spells. Did not get what he wanted out of it. If he right. had just saved the think twice, that would be very significant later in the game. I'd be curious if he if he ends up losing the attrition battle. Mm -hmm. The fact that he made had to make that discard might be very relevant. Like you can look at it right there. He could have paid for Mana Leak in theory if he waited the turn, mm -hmm. and said he didn't. You know, he, which in fact would have saved him in the gate in the long run, not just saved him a copper line board. So, um, yeah, Ali doesn't doesn't capitalize on Eric being tapped out, but he doesn't really have any big spells to besides White Sun Zenith to really do that with. You know, I don't. I don't. I I'm neutral at, with regards to what. Ollie may or may not have done just now. I don't, yeah. think it, I don't think it has much bearing on the outcome of the game yet. Ollie's deck, he's not, he doesn't have one of the kinds of decks that you can just like take a big turn. Like, right. like you said a minute ago, his big turn is like white tons in it. Yeah. We don't even know if he has it in his deck right now. There's a divination from Eric. It's been I think Ollie's probably, is Soren's Vengeance a sorcery or an instant? Uh, sorcery, I'm pretty sure. I, I think it should be an instant. Yeah, it's a sorcery. So seven mana sorcery. So, yeah. if you, what do you think if Ollie just taps seven to Soren's Vengeance? Do you think Eric will even counterspell it? I mean, <laughs> tap seven, Soren's Vengeance. I mean, I think I'd counterspell it. it. Seems like half my life total is worth a counterspell. Brimstone Volley, much? Brimstone Volley would be pretty damn good. 
So there's a wolf from the uh, the second Garrick. No, he didn't transform. You're not supposed to howl yet. He made a wolf. Yeah, but it's not a werewolf. I mean, they still howl, but... Regular wolves howl. What the, We have to meow now because he just played White Sun Zenith. Meow. Are they cats? <laughs> yes. This is going to be a complicated weekend. <laughs> yes, they are cats. Meow. Meow. How many? Meow. Yes. So we know how many times to meow. <laughs> I wonder if like Ollie can hear us. He's like, are they meowing my voice? <laughs> are you kidding me? <laughs> Who are these buffoons? <laughs> oh, look at that! Oh, that is, those cats are very wolf-like. So, what's the correct attack? Uh, is, how, what's his Garrick's loyalty? Three, so he needs to ship at least three towards Garrick. I think I can ship four towards Garrick and one towards uh, towards Eric. Is that is that right? Uh, he's going three uh, and how two. How much mana is? Well, I don't know how much mana is on tap. Yeah, if if there's no play, then three and two is right, and that's the correct block. So um, he obviously has to overload on the damage. Yeah. Ollie's got all of his mana on tap, more or less. I like Ollie's position this game. Yeah, he's lo it's looking a lot better than. Uh... I mean, he doesn't have the correct tokens. Those are supposed right. to be cats. Yeah. Something's got to be done about that. Where Dr. Garfield would not approve. I mean, this. <laughs> he made a werewolf set, and, you know, I. I uh oh. Uh, there's uh -oh. a consecrated sphinx. That there. card's no fun. You want know, to you know how not fun that card is? When I when I won that 5K this year, mm -hmm. I actually had a, a fair stretch where I had Splinter Twin on my Consecrated Sphinx. That was fun on the yeah, upkeep. I bet that was fun. Yeah. I was like, are you gonna attack? No, I don't really feel like attacking. <laughs> <laughs> and he had he had a he had a Gideon, right? So I mean, in theory, he could have just Gideon my Consecrated Sphinx, but he had to keep doing the attack me with Gideon play every turn for fear of me killing him with a. <laughs> <laughs> with my combo, he did it. So I just like drew five cards a turn <laughs> for forever. And he's like, "Oh, what are you ever gonna yeah. not not do this?" I was like, no, no. no. <laughs> well, Someday you will break. <laughs> <laughs> the consecrated things resolved, and now Eric has drawn a bunch of cards during Ollie's upkeep or Ollie's draw step. That is sorry. Um, and Ollie has a day of judgment. Which gets a dissipate, and then Ollie has the monoleek for. And now I'm saying monoleek. I say manaleek. You say monoleek. Anyway, day so of judgment does eventually resolve. Three McManas open, but I fear that the the consecrated sphinx has done its damage. I mean, he drew two cards off of it. But it's like a divination that draws a manaleek and a and a, the day of judgment as well as killing all of your opponents on squad. Yeah, it's kind of like a really good divination. Yeah. That's, was, isn't that another card I had to, I previewed? I don't remember. Which one? Consecrated Sphinx. I don't, I don't remember, remember either. You should remember better than I should. You had to write an entire article Ugh. about it. There's Jace Memory Adept. So Drew says that you just brain your opponent with that card. There's a Dissipate. And there's a Mana or Mana Leak. Does not look good for the U.S. National Champion. What do you do? You just draw here? I would just draw. I mean... Ah, I, just, I don't know. I've not yet played with that Jace because it seemed just no, he's braining. not good. But yeah, he's, he's taking 10 good. from Ollie. All the cards that have Jace in them are good. I didn't think Jace's oh, ingenuity was good and it ended up being pretty good. I guess I didn't mean it wasn't good. It just I didn't think it was good yet. I, I think it's good. It's gotten a lot better now and I just haven't had the opportunity to play with it yet in, uh, in a Strahd standard that's you know a whole week old. I've um, actually always liked it. I would have considered playing it in the previous format actually. So we got a question on Twitter that uh, shouldn't Ollie's deck name be Ollie Cats? Jeremy, Ollie Cats. <laughs> <laughs> who, who, who asked that one? Uh, Saravox on Twitter. Respond to him. Say yes, it should be Ollie yeah, Cats. Well, he, if he's watching, we're, he's, he's heard us. Yeah. Uh, All right. I well, I don't like the pass. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, the whole deck is is basically in stance. But, you know, you, there's a question about taking advantage of your opponent's mana being tapped. That's true. Brain. And O-rings aren't instants. Oh. oh, two Snapcasters off of the uh, off of the Jace Zero ability. Is that, it's the new Zero. The, the new oh. Zero on Jace that uh, just happens all the uh, time. Draw three. <laughs> well, Visions of Beyond will at least 
at least gets a little bit better after being brained twice by Jace. Dissipation. Dissipate for the visions of beyond. And Ollie. Think twice in response. Forbidden Alchemy? <laughs> it's like they're on the same team right now. Yeah. <laughs> Eric's like, oh, okay. Yeah, I you, guess. you're gonna help me mill you? Yeah, good. Alright. <laughs> Seems good. No problems. <laughs> so forbidden alchemy results now. Visions does not Visions does not. Yeah, vi visions got dissipated. And that was all at the end of Eric's turn. Eric does have a couple tapped lands underneath the uh, the overlays there. Off screen, that's uh, he didn't he didn't cast that dissipate for free. Think twice, main. What did he get? Uh, I didn't he's see, see if he's dead. <laughs> he's trying to see if he's dead as well. I think that was more than ten. Oh, he's also seeing if he can cast any more card draws. Right, exactly. Wow, that chase is very impressive. It certainly is when Ollie's helping. I think it's impressive. I mean, what is it going to be? Three, yeah, three activations, and that should, uh... That should be... Like, Eric's gotten three activations out of it. Ollie really can't... Maybe it's like a Kozilek or something that he can... He can yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's why I meant he wasn't as good earlier. Uh, oh, he's going to think twice. I mean, he's going to die if he doesn't, right? Yeah. Oh, is he got he got to a white sun zenith? No, no. I think that's an oblivion ring. He's checking to see if he has a way to win left. Look, I think there's a snapcaster left in his deck. Like if he gets to white sun zenith, he could just keep doing it and keep drawing it, right? Yeah. Maybe he can hold a snapcaster to defend himself. Well, there's a think twice. He wants to have the best possible hand for the turn that he's going to play the O-Ring, right? Yeah, I guess so. So there's, uh, that was at the end of Eric's turn. Like, I think Eric has just let Ollie do whatever he wanted under the assumption that Chase Memory Adept was going to be it, but, yeah. you know, Ollie's got way more cards than him now, doesn't he? Am I incorrect on that? Mm, I mean, Ollie looks like he's got a six, five cards in his hand. There is an O-Ring. So, so all yeah, the cards in Eric's hand are only blue, has though. Two cards, but he's the one, correct color three, of cards. He's got three. So there's a Snapcaster Mage, which gives him access to his entire graveyard. What are those two? He's got two of the same cards in his it, hand. It looks like is it forbidden now? That's what I'm thinking. No, no, Eric doesn't have that card, right? Uh, you're right. I'm having trouble telling what that is. Dissipate, maybe. I don't think it's dissipated. Memories? Is it Memories Journey? It might be Memories Journey. All he draws into a wrath. It is, it is memory's journey. I'm almost having. positive now. So, move to dissipate, and that's and there. Mitch. It is okay. So, Ollie unable to uh, unable to take game two there. 